I don't really have much of an opening statement besides the fact that uh, you know, I didn't do a good job of getting our team prepared to play tonight. Um, you know, it was a huge factor in it. You prepare for what somebody's capable of doing, and if you're not ready to go, this is what they're capable of doing. Not anybody that looks at Nebraska and says, they, didn't, they haven't laid down and died or quit at any point in time. They played really hard. And, uh, we didn't have it tonight, and that's on me. I did a terrible job getting these guys ready to go. Mike, I think they scored on 12 of their first 19 possessions, but then also had five offensive boards. Those are two things that have really been your hallmark. Uh, did you get a sense for what wasn't clicking there, and how damaging is that when those two things don't work for you? Yeah, um, we kind of hung our hat on that end the entire, you know, the entire season, and we were just a step behind the entire time. They were playing at a faster pace than we were defensively, and when you start the possession like that, you get behind, and then you know anything can happen. It snowballs. Uh, you were about as loud as we've heard you tonight for probably the middle eight there, and then there was a point in the second half where you just kind of got quiet. Can you? Can you can you tell what was going through your head there and just the message you were, you were sending to your team? I mean, at some point in time, like, what is there to say, right? I mean, we're getting our ass kicked. I was yelling, like, quiet, we're getting our ass kicked. So, um, you know, we also, like, you know, you got some leaders on the team that, you know, sometimes they have to say something for you, too. I did a poor job today. We got our ass kicked because of me. Michael, we saw John get really emotional during the game and then obviously close to the end of the game. How much does something like that sort of compound uh, a loss like this and, and what are you feeling for him at this moment? I'm just disappointed that we didn't um, we didn't play the right way for him tonight um, in his last opportunity to play here. That hurts, right? That hurts more than the loss, like the way that we lost. A guy that puts everything he has into it, uh, that cares so much, like for this to be his last game here, like, that's what I'm hurting about. And that's what's sad, right? Like, this guy's given his all for, for five years, and uh, this is how he got rewarded. Micah, you've, I mean, in the vast majority of your, your games, you guys have been able to slow other teams down and make them play slower basketball. What, what's happening out there in a game like today where, where you guys aren't able to do that? We were poorly prepared. I sucked. Micah, if you're willing, can you elaborate on that? Like, what element wasn't prepared in your mind? And did you, did you sense it coming into the game? I mean, was there a time leading into the game where you felt like that would be the case? I mean, you can see it from the opening tip, right? We get the tip, we don't step to our man. Um, they run through and get a steal and we foul. You know, very next possession, we get a stop. Uh, then we turn it over and transition. They come down and hit a shot, right? Like, wheels are falling off from there. Maybe if we were a little more disciplined, maybe if I'd done a better job, maybe we stepped to our man and we had the first possession. It could change the game, maybe not, but I don't know. We decided to play horse tonight. We don't play horse against a team with better shoes. Thank you, Coach. Coach, what were they doing that um, Last question. that made it so challenging defensively uh, for you guys? They didn't have anything to do with, with our offense. Right? Like, we're fighting uphill the whole time. You don't get stops, you quit playing hard. And uh, that's what we did. So, um, like I said, if, if I do a better job of getting our guys ready to go defensively, maybe we feed off of that and we play a little bit better offense, but no, we didn't have it. Like, you know, I know they quit playing in the second half and we scored 70 points. They had more points at uh, you know, almost halftime mark than we've given up in some games all season. So I don't care about anything that happened on the other end of the court. Like This was about our defense, us not being pre prepared to play. And uh, yeah, that's on me. It starts at the top. If I do a better job, maybe we come out and play a little bit better. But hats off to them, too. They played great. And they played the same night we did. So there's no excuses about somebody being tired. Um, so, you know, you get what you deserve. So we got to sit in this for a little bit. And uh, I'll 
be better next time.